majority of Memphis voters voted to pass gun referenda placed on the ballot. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Joe Burke. And I'm Joy Redmond. It was an uphill battle to even get it on the ballot. So the question now, what happens now? Action News 5's Imani Williams joining us live. Imani, now that these have passed, can you tell us what's next? Well, Joy, not much will happen now. Now, this was more symbolic than anything to get these uh, gun measures on the ballot under that referendum. Now, that is because state law blocks these questions from going into play here in Memphis. But overall, this was more of a strong message that Memphis is sending to Nashville about what they want to see. The polls are closed and votes are in. Over 80% of people who voted in Memphis chose to pass three questions under a gun referendum. The questions revolved around restricting permitless carry, possession, sale, and carry of assault rifles, and extreme risk protections. Tennessee State Senator Ramesh Ackberry says this referendum passing does not change current state laws. It does not make a difference. State law trumps, you know, city ordinances, federal law trumps state law. I think, again, it does give us ammunition to say, listen, over 80% of our population, Republican and Democrats, support these smart gun measures. Memphis lawmakers said this gives them a little more help when trying to pass gun safety measures in Nashville. Personally, I feel like I have a stronger argument around the needs for gun safety laws because my citizens of Memphis have officially said that they want something done. Political science experts said these questions were placed on the ballot to gain attention to the gun issue, not only here in Memphis, but across the state, and shows how voters feel about safer gun measures. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation data shows violent crime is down 3% this year in Memphis. Ackberry says more could be done to see more of a change. While we have seen a decrease in violent crime, the amount of guns, illegal guns that are on our streets, uh, really does continue to, to stop that number from being able to go down as much as we'd like. Now, other than a legislator putting and sponsoring a bill in Nashville, there are a few other options like a special session or going to court or even a legislator sponsored referendum that the entire state of Tennessee could vote on. I'll have more tonight at six live downtown Imani Williams, Action News 5.